Um, we're going to present to you the helping hand today. That's Mike, Jesus, Yen, and I'm Tang. This is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to explain what the helping hand is, basically our motivations for the projects, other products available on the market that, and our objectives, our designing components, all the sub-components uh, that we designed. We're going to talk about that. The programming, we're going to do a short demonstration, some accomplishments, maybe some uh, um, recommendations and improvements for future projects, and we'll sum it up and wrap it up with uh, some questions. So what is the Helping Hand? Uh, we researched uh, many products out there on the market, um, but we actually honed in on one specific product. It's called uh, My Spoon. It's uh, user-friendly, yet very expensive at $15,000 US. Uh, it's uh, main target market is uh, towards adults, and it's not really readily available uh, in the United States. G6 is because it utilizes the Parallax uh, Board of Education uh, for a piece of programming. Right, so once we decide on what type of robotic I'm going to go with, we had to sit down and uh, determine how it was we were going to adapt it to meet our goals. And we came up with the six following basic design criteria. We had to come up with uh, designs for a base, a food tray, a uh, manipulator, which is the device that's primarily responsible food from uh, the food tray to the user's mouth. Uh, we had design covers as well as a remote control device and we also had to decide exactly how we were going to program the robot to do exactly what it is we wanted to do. Uh, here are designs for it. So the program components we used for this project was the Parallax Board of Education along with the basic stamp and the Parallax Servo Controller. And we used these since we've had uh, experience in our school's classes with uh, these devices. So our program goals is to create an interface between the robot and the user that is simple to operate and satisfies the project objectives, which is to serve a variety of foods at our four quadrants. That we, experience, we actually already loaded the food, and uh, we'll get this started. Right. So the first thing you do is you turn the robot on. suggest that you press the home position to figure out where you're sitting and so you know where the fork is going to come when you're feeding. So right here is the home position and so now you can adjust your seat and get ready. So, okay, so next uh, you hit button, button, button one for quadrant one. your home position button and it'll take it back. Third button. Switch that would just automatically kills it. 
That's one of the main safety things that we wanted to have. Just in case he feels it, you know, it's going to stop him in the face. <laughs> Um, okay, ne next thing we'll demonstrate, basically, it's the breakdown. So once you turn it off, you can just unplug the, the outlet. These cups are mainly used to be able to put away easy, easier, and you can clean it. Nothing on the tray or anything you have to take off to clean. So you just break this off with two legs, and there's sides where you can adjust everything. And the pegs itself, you can remove, and there's slots here that you can put back. And this folds like that. You set it here, and the caretaker can just take it away, store it, and these you can just put back to where you need to go. So. That leads us to the next slide. So the helping hand is uh, it's able to travel to all four of the quadrants, uh, successfully leads its user. <clears throat> it's hygienic, safe, compact, uh, also very portable, uh, easy enough to use for all ages due to the uh, push button capabilities. And we know this is a first revision of the robot. There's many improvements to be made, uh, such as uh, refinements on the program and also component selection. This is going to bring us to the conclusion of our presentation. Hopefully, you know what the helping hand is. Um, our motive is Alex. If you want to know more about DMD, there's dmdfund.org. Um, there's a lot of organizations out there that brings awareness. Um, the origins, how we came to come up with this idea. Uh, the different components and the building blocks of the helping hand and what it can do. You saw the demonstration and uh, you know that it's definitely a first revision. It will need some more uh, improvements. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And